Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Have you ever chased wires around your workbench when you're trying to solder and just propped them up on something so you didn't burn the workbench? Try to, try to solder a component to a wire and chase it around the uh, workbench? Well, stick with me. I think I've got something to cure your problem. All right, this is the uh, Helping Hands from Nose Big. Uh, Nose Big sells this and a few other things like uh, lights that have like a ring light that has uh, a magnifying glass similar to what's on here. So let me, I'm not going to bore you guys with un unboxing it. I'm going to unbox it and then show you the parts. It did come in this box, packed in another box. So it's pretty well protected and the box seems to be in good shape. Let me uh, unpack everything and then show you what we have. You're, you're probably really happy that now that I didn't unpackage this in front of you because there's a lot of parts in this kit. This is the instruction manual. Um, there's not really not much to it. it just kind of shows what's here. And uh, just tells a little bit. Here's some technical uh, things. It has a magnifying glass with LED. It has 42 SMD LED lights. Uh, the magnifying glass is three times. The joints are universal spring steel and 790 lumens and there's just a bunch of the parts here i'm going to show you the parts and we're not going to look at that very much uh where do we start let's, let's just start with that light so here's the light it has usb plug it also comes with a usb plug-in for the plug-in and you just plug that in and we will use this in a little bit later the uh cord has plus and minus when you turn it on, on and off and then plus and minus and then I don't really know what this one here is. We'll have to check that later see what that actually is. So there's the light and as you guys can see it's on a really nice articulating where you can move things around. For the table it comes with these little rubber legs little or feet and I'll put those on later. Um, this is some kind of a I don't know what it is. It's just a rubber thing. I don't know where this goes yet, so we'll have to figure that out. I didn't even see that in the product packaging list, so we'll just set that aside, and hopefully we'll figure that out later. It does come with four of these. These all have magnets. Everything's done to do magnets, guys, and these magnets are, are really strong. They have a little screw that holds them on, and these you would just kind of set up. Let's say you have a, a board that has holes in it. You can set the board on these little points here, okay? And like you, you can hear it sticks together really well. It came with two packages. Let me show you the package. Here's the package. It came with two two packages, and that and has this inside. And it comes with a screw. And the screw is like a set screw to hold these in. I kind of like this setup so far from what I've seen. I haven't used it yet, but uh, my other ones, when you got them loose enough to do things, then they were too loose, and you had to tighten them up all the time, and it was just kind of a hassle. But this looks like it might be pretty easy and let me just show you you get four of these magnet on the end here and this is where that piece goes in you just stick it in here like that which fits pretty tight and then you have a set screw there so here's one installed here's the set screw here's the thing and, and these have look looks like heat shrink on them the other ones I had had like little caps and the caps always want to come off then on the bottom is the magnets. It's kind of hard to, they're kind of shiny. And it does look like, man, they're strong and they actually have a piece of plastic over them. that I'll have to peel off there to make it better. I might just leave it for now. They seem strong enough. It also comes with this clamp. And this one just works by screwing and turning this and it clamp, it'll clamp on bigger things. Oh, that's what those, if you guys can see in here, it's hard to see, but this little rubber thing, there's just extra of these little rubbers is what that other little, um, this one here was. And that can clamp around, you know, like something like a pipe or something to hold it for your, while you're soldering or something. Maybe for your bigger soldering. It also has, uh, let's see, it has two different size holes in the back here. It looks like a quarter and maybe a five sixteenths. And I'm sure that screws into things. Well, I'm sure it screws into this one here. So this is another arm. It had, also has a magnet on the bottom here. It has like a, almost like a camera mount. This unscrews 
it's going to be hard to show you guys, but if you look closely, there's like little teeth there to hold this thing steady, which like if you set it right here and then you, you find that those teeth and then tighten it down, it'll hold that out nice and straight for you. Okay. And then this will screw on here. And all this stuff is made to go to the base. But I'm going to show you the base plate last, last and we're actually going to measure it. So this is pretty cool. Also has another joint down here where it can move. And a little adjustment here. Then you have a nice, good size vise here. And again, it has the magnet. has a, a way to un, unhook it from the magnet if you want to. It looks like you could actually probably put this through a uh, onto a bench if you wanted to also. And just like, and again, it has this rubber here to protect things. Those ones I showed you earlier. And you just turn this out to... Uh, Adjust things. Let's see how far it goes out. So some of your boards, if they're not too big, I'm you're getting kind of towards the end. It goes a, it goes a little bit further here. It looks like. So that's a kind of a cool feature. Also, we're getting down to the end of the parts here. So let me show you the the actual. You guys can see it here in the screen probably, but this is the actual plate. This thing's pretty heavy. I've got a small scale here. Let's just, uh, we'll do this, well, we'll do it in grams. Grams is like the easiest to get your really good weight on things because it's so small. So we're on grams. We can, we can switch it to, let's just set it on here. So 1,075 grams. Let's just change the units. That's two pounds, 3.37 ounces. 2.59 pounds, two, two pounds, 5.9 ounces, and then 37.92 ounces. So pretty heavy. Let's just see how some of these parts fit on here. Remember we talked about these. You can set those. So that goes on there nice. Then you have your, your vise, and that, that sets down with authority, let me tell you. So you have the arm here, the articulating arm, same thing. Everything sticks to everything, guys. And like I showed you guys here, this one here. Actually, that's what that seems to be what loosens everything right there. That loosens the bottom, this one here also. So now everything's pretty tight, and now I tighten it down. Pretty tight, and then you can tighten that down too. There you go, now, pretty solid. So here's the light. Let me just, we're going to hook the light, let's see, on this corner here. You see that magnet just lifted the, everything up. I'm going to turn this kind of, I'm going to kind of bend it back and then back down. I'm not going to, sh I'm not going to throw it right in your guys' eyes for now. Let's see here. So here's the power. So it comes on. Let's see, I'll hit minus first. And it does lower down. You guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, I'll, I'll turn it up. But let's just see how there's up. And then I don't know what. Oh, that changes colors. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw that, but it changes the actual type of light. So that's like kind of a yellowish light, kind of a white, and it's kind of a bluish, back to yellow. Well, that's cool. I kind of like the bright. Let me try to find something that we can just kind of set up and see how everything works. So this is a Z bar kit. This is from A to Z Tech. And I didn't do this video earlier because he actually ran out of these. And since since he ran out of them, he's actually come up with a, a newer design. But uh, be on the lookout on my channel here for something like this. I'll be doing this build pretty soon, so you might want to just kind of check around. So look how that goes in there. You just kind of center those. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have sent them next to each other. And then you just kind of throw this one underneath here. Do the same thing. And you just kind of move it. And those move. They stick really good, but they actually move really nice. So that's a that's pretty good. Let's try a different one and see if something else might actually work also well let's just let's do this one first 
these magnets, the only thing I'd say, these magnets stick to everything. So this is loose. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. It's, it's not big enough to go this direction, but we can take this and bring it in. And just kind of line it up. And I'm going to line it up kind of towards the top. And I'm not going to put too much pressure, but just enough to hold it. Now that's solid. That would work really good. And I think that might be one of the things I actually use a lot if I'm doing something like this. Because this thing's, I mean, it's pretty solid. More, It was more solid when I had it down here like this. All right, so that's pretty cool. This one, you could probably use this one too if you wanted to get it out there. And that actually, let's just, heck, heck, we'll just keep looking at parts here. Hope you guys want to see all this stuff work. Now this one I can actually, let me move it more towards the back here. Anyone, if I put it at the back, it's still solid, guys. It's not moving anywhere. I will, uh, I'll set this like this. Tighten that up just a little bit. And like I said, when you tighten this knob, that tightens not only this joint, but also the ball joint down here. And this ball joint here. And then you could actually put that in. You know what I'd do? I would do it right here on this. Because that's there's nothing goes there. And what might be kind of cool about this one is you can, by loosening this, you can change it angles and literally guys I've never never used this thing so I'm just kind of like you looking at it for the first time but yeah as you lift it up here then you could lift it you can put it like that probably just about any position you want let's just put it there so now I unscrew this to undo that and we'll pull this down here we'll take the whole thing off let's try let's try the one that I actually put the uh, deal on. I'm going to put it back in this corner because these are pretty long. The only thing I would have liked, I would like to have these that were like this long maybe, you know. But this gives you, look at that, you can just, you can do the same thing what we just, like we just did. That's, that's actually pretty good too. And that's pretty solid. I mean, it, it doesn't, if you had two of these, I, I don't have two of them set up. Let me set one up real quick. This is live, guys. So let me throw one on here, throw the set screw in. My fingers work better, it'll be faster. I don't even know that you need that, but I can take this one, I can set it back here, do the same thing, just kind of bring it around. Oh yeah, that works really well. That's pretty solid. That actually, I mean, for most most things I do, this will work really well. Let's just look at something else here. So we'll put that to the side. I do have something like this. So say you're going to solder a wire in there, you could you could clamp that right on there like that. It holds it nice. I think I'm I'm probably going to use this a lot. And then, like I said before, we can we have something down here. Now we can just hit the power. We got a light on it. Let me uh, let me put this on here. Trying to get okay out of the glare. Let me turn it off, and then turn it on. You guys see how much light that is. Nice. All right, this is a great little product, guys. I'm not just saying that because I well, if it was junk, I would tell you guys that, and it's not junk. Nice and heavy. About it's a it's a, my other one was about to here, probably the same distance here. Let me. Oh, we didn't do that. Let's do this real quick here. Let's do a measurement. So we are. 11 inches by uh, just a hair over seven inches seven and an eighth and this thing is i would say it's like an eighth inch thick piece of steel that's it's like powder coated uh, with like a little rough it has like a little rough finish to it should hold up pretty well i have to tell you guys when i got the offer to uh, review this product i i almost deleted it and didn't and didn't really want to do it and then i looked at it and I'm like wow that thing comes with a lot of parts that are helpful i went ahead and uh and said yes and man am i glad i did this thing is a game changer i had some some helping hands before but they didn't have the the, the arms were stationary i couldn't move them around so they weren't always in the right place 
The uh, platform was a little smaller, not a whole lot, but a little bit. It was a nice setup, but uh, didn't have the versatility, didn't have any of those clamps or the little pins that stick up. And I know you can buy those extra. Man, am I glad I uh, went ahead and, uh, and reviewed this. You guys are gonna see this in quite a few of my videos, because you guys know I like to build antennas and different things. And guess what? You're gonna see this thing a lot, I'm sure. Hopefully this video was good for you and it showed you something that maybe you need and you might wanna pick up. I will have a link in the description section for this. Now this is an Amazon, as an Amazon affiliate, I do sometimes get a, a small commission from sales from the uh, consumer that is no cost to you. So if you wanna help out the channel, please use the link and uh, if you're gonna purchase this and purchase it through my link. I'm Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures. I'm glad you guys spent your time with me today. I know your time is valuable. 73 all, and hope to catch you on the airways.